Desmond's back. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood here on the Game Professor channel. I'm your host, the Game Professor, and we're starting off this episode outside of the Animus since we were having a little bit of trouble last time um, in relation to a Borgia Tower. I'm still absolutely certain that I had defeated the captain and I should have been able to ignite that tower, but I'm... I haven't looked back at the footage yet, but I'm certain that I did. So I'm a little beyond irritated. Uh, but we're going to start off this episode outside of the Animus, since we know that we had a prompt to exit the Animus. We gonna get any food in here? People who don't work, don't eat. I'm kidding. Mm. You knew I was kidding, right? No. Right. Smile and nod. Someone just volunteered to get the food. That. It was worth it. All right. I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll kind of give him that. Uh, let's check in with Lucy a bit more, though. Oh, she moved. All right. In that case, there's... Huh, where is she? Well, we'll check in with everyone else, at least. How's the power situation? It's okay for now, but the power lines are from the Stone Age. Bloody third world country! You're talking about Italy. No, Europe in general. I didn't know England was a third world country. England is not in Europe, actually, Rebecca. We we tolerate Europe, you know? Like like a person tolerates herpes. That has a whole new meaning in a post-Brexit world. <laughs> Just gonna throw that out there. I don't think that that's necessarily where Ubisoft was trying to go with that, but that has a whole new meaning in a post-Brexit world. <laughs> How did you manage to create a copy of the Animus? Ah, you know, Lucy sent me schematics. I thought she couldn't get anything out of Abstergo. She had her ways. I improvised on the rest. Huh. We are still so far from the end of this game, and I don't want to spoil anything for anybody. But that is hugely significant. And it could be an indication of passage of time within that significance, but still. Make a note of that narrative element. Seriously. Focusing on this. Okay. Check in with Sean. What happened to Katarina Sforza? She went back to Florence and petitioned unsuccessfully for the return of her lands. Then she died of pneumonia. Hmm. That's sad. That's life. Well, that's death, technically, but you take my point. Yeah. Are we ever going to visit the head assassins? I heard about this meeting place when I was younger. Apparently it exists, though I'm not sure, because I've never been. You'll get to see it once we have the apple. Well, I <laughs> expect amazing things. A private espresso bar, for example. What a waste of money. You obviously aren't an espresso drinker. Sean, a private espresso bar is a waste of money, straight up. We don't have time for chit chat. Hmm. Where is Lucy? Okay, food. Carnivore. Hypocrite. Did you know plants give off chemicals which attract predatory insects when they're attacked? Sounds pretty animal-like to me. You know too much for your own good. That's what my priest used to say. <clears throat> that's funny, actually. That, that, that's funny. Okay. Honestly, in terms of finding stuff, 
in the overworld, I probably will eventually resort to a guide, just because I truly don't remember where anything is. Um, but yeah, I... I don't... I'm... Hmm. I'm tempt... I'm gonna go out here just... In a weird off chance that Lucy's out here? There she is. Okay. Okay. She's blue. Okay. That was Sometimes potentially telling you. I apologize. I so from everything out there. Nearly a decade of my life gone, searching for those pieces of Eden. Think how great you'll feel when we finally stop the Templars. I'm not sure it will ever end, Desmond. I can't do this forever. I don't buy it. But Lucy I know brought me here and taught me how to see. She would never give up. <laughs> I guess mm -hmm. I trained you pretty well, huh? You did all right. Ugh. I will always remain attracted by this bit of bread tread and I know it literally continues to go nowhere for what I want to do I'll do a quick little search around Monteri Johnny Nothing major, just a random little look around, see if I can find anything. It is gonna get to a point where I will resort to a guide, though. Whichever guide I use, I'll obviously link in the description. It'll probably be something like IGN or something like that, because I have used those guides, uh, the, the IGN guides in the past. Um, and I know that the finding of the various artifacts is not restricted to which moments you exit the Animus. If it were, that'd be real weird. Just gonna throw that out there. Because... Pretty sure. I feel like one of them is one of the statuettes that we found in the last game. But I have no idea which one it would be. Whichever one it is would kind of be the clue of where to find it, if I remember correctly. But yeah, this is. Primarily a for the heck of it sort of search. I'm not actively looking for anything because I know that eventually I will just resort to a guide. And I will use that statement as an opportunity to say using guides is okay. It is not weak to use a guide. It is not cheating to use a guide. It's not any of these things to use a guide. So anybody who says that using any of these resources is cheating or low or not really fully experience the game, experiencing the game, jokes on you, frankly because those sorts of attitudes do nothing to help the gaming experience. Um, let's see if Lucy has anything else to say. There's no time to talk. Okay, so let's check our email then. Our email and everyone else's email. 
as it were. So, two inboxes. So, unmarked van. Hey guys, just a quick heads up. There was a white unmarked van parked across the street when I went to get batteries yesterday, and it was still there today when I came back with the food. It's a little too nondescript for my liking, and it's just the right size for surveillance gear. I checked again a few minutes ago, and it was gone, but I'll keep, but keep an eye out. All right? And Sean, quick update on our remaining counterparts around the globe. Moscow. They remain safe and secure. They are currently chasing a potential lead on another piece of Eden, so fingers crossed on that one. I've done a little research from them for them myself and have confirmed a few of their suspicions so it's looking good at the moment. Sao Paulo, they had to move to safe houses again and this time it was too close. It's suspected that there was a leak on their team so headquarters is looking into it. It's likely the team will go dark soon to try to flush out the mole. Hopefully they can catch it before it catches up to them but they are supposed to supported so it's a plus. Osaka, as per planned, they are still dark. They are scheduled to make contact with headquarters in 72 hours, so hopefully they're okay and have lost their tail. More updates to come. Woof. That's all very serious. That's all that. See if anything else. Alright, something else from Lucy. I'd be lying if I said I didn't feel the same way sometimes, but when I do, I try to think about what would become of this world if we weren't fighting this this fight. It's hard, Rebecca, and that's why you were chosen, like me, because you can endure. But you know your resilience doesn't make you invincible. Come by my room this in the morning and we talk about whatever. Whew, okay. Um, let's see what she sent to Lucy. Hold on. Regarding blank. All right. Hey, Lucy, this is getting harder and harder. I miss my family. I miss my dog. I miss my life. I know what we're doing is important, but I can't help but feel this way, especially when we're spinning our wheels like we are now. I guess all I'm saying is I need someone to talk to, and you're the only person who understands. I guess there's Sean, but he just makes sarcastic comments. I just don't know what... Uh, I just don't want that right now. Yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd say that is fairly accurate. And that is all for her outbox. Then all the deleted stuff. Anything for Sean. His inbox... William M. Okay, hello Sean. Here's an update of team locations and activities for you to pass on to the others. You'll probably be contacted from one of the members from Sao Paulo. You're their lifeline, so be ready. Okay, so this is all of the general information that we just got. Um, this I'm not going to read entirely, but I will scroll through, pause as you need to in order to read. Sorry, I just had a moment of thinking there was another group that was visible there. I wouldn't share this one with the others yet. I don't want to alarm them unless absolutely necessary. Denver is off the grid and this one isn't planned. It looks like we may have lost another one. Headquarters is investigating. William. All right. The anger of Italian apes. You're still going on when it's your turn. If you need me to hold your hand and protect you from the big bad man, just ask. Okay. That seems like something from the outbox. Fine, but when the brute meat eats my pancreas, you'll be without a lead data manager. Okay. 
Dear Lucy, I regret to inform you that I will no longer be able to trek into the down for the into town for the foreseeable future. I'll spare you the gory details, but suffice to say, an exchange of words, hand gestures, and grunts with a large Italian fellow have made clear to me he plans to murder your favorite male co-worker on sight. I am sorry for any inconvenience this might cause. Oh, Sean. All right. Let's see if Lucy has anything else. Um, she definitely has more inbox stuff, it looks like. Okay. Let's see all of that stuff. But then, regarding the bleeding effect. Hello, Lucy. Your last email troubled me more, than, more for your sake than the fate of the project. I have no idea what has gotten into you, but you're going to come down with an ulcer if you don't relax a little. You're doing excellent work. There's nothing for you to worry about. In terms of Desmond, however, I think you are somewhat justified in your concern. I need you to keep an eye on him and report anything you observe that might be relevant. When you, take back, when you get back here, we'll run tests on him. I'm sure on, uh, but I'm sure on your watch there will be no need to worry. Take care of yourself. Yourself, get some sleep. So 926, 12, 1130. Okay, that's to Lucy, or to Rebecca. Okay, nothing there. Nothing there. All right. I'm just curious. His was 926 2012 at 1130. 927 2012 at 9.01. Not sure if that's something to take note of, but the timing of emails potentially could be significant. Let's uh, get ourselves back in the Animus, though. No reason to not. Good to go. Got another little bit of time to finish off the episode. And I will eventually get everything that there is in Monteri Joni. I do promise that. It's just... Alright. You there! Pay attention. I could have murdered you right now. Let's see. We're just gonna go... Straight back up here. Always be aware of your surroundings. Our strength comes through vigilance. Assassins will not attack from in front. They will approach out of hiding. Never let your guard down. That's not what I, I am wanted. I'm alive today because I listened. Oh, He's losing us. Oh, come on. You're kidding me. Follow my lead and go wide. Like this. Oh, you're kidding me. Ugh. I didn't target the right person. This is going to be a pain. Like that does anything. Oh god. Oh Jesus. That was the last thing I wanted. I wanted to actually finish this dang Borgia Tower. too stupid to drop properly well but now I have to wait until dusk in order to do anything have you been drinking? 
No, I haven't been drinking. Go away. I mean, logically speaking, it doesn't strike me as an odd question to ask somebody who's jumping on buildings and stuff like that, so... I don't push back against it in that sense. This feels like I should be able to jump up there, honestly. Or that I should be able to do it from here. Uh, this is an irritatingly tempting location. Yeah, I decided to target that diplomat for me instead of the captain. Which is really irritating. I'll actually take down some notoriety before I go after the captain again. Though, looks like Dawn is approaching, so it shouldn't be a problem for me to go after the captain again very quickly. That was irritating though, jeez. I literally just wanted to go after him with an arrow storm. Nope. That's one of those moments where I'm like, I have played Assassin's Creed 3, so I am aware of the game with the ability to actually just traverse cliffs. So, a little bit spoiled in that sense all right we're just working our way back around stop giving me that target of the diplomat oh my god this is so annoying i hate having that person targeted constantly it's so irritating to me it, it really is so irritating I would really that was me purposefully trying to not aim for the target there we go all right all right oh you're gonna do this huh He's getting away! That was easy. Nobody should have seen me. That was easy. Really? Really. That is absurd. Which way? There. Found you. There. Whoa. Really. Oh my word. You do stupid stuff like that, you just make it that much easier for me to assassinate you. And yes, I am just going to take this flyer down now to get rid of my notoriety to simplify my life. Go away from you. Do that. And all I need is one more poster to take my notoriety down completely. The bigger thing though 
who the heck sees me? There we go. Alright, and as long as the Borgia captain is staying completely unaware of me, it's fine. There's our captain. Where is this last poster? Million dollar question. Where's this last poster? Are you over here? You're right here. Alright, and my notoriety is still too freaking high. I'm gonna kill something. There we go! I have killed him, so I can actually go after the tower. Come on, there we go. There we go. All right. But I've killed him. I can go after this tower. You've seen it on screen. You have seen it. I can go after this tower. I am not making anything up in thinking that I can go after this tower. Come on. There we go. All right. All right. It's still going to make me do this. I've already gotten the viewpoint, so I don't need to... I am going to kill something. Who just got me? I can't with people. I can't. I literally can't with these idiots. If I have difficulty getting this taken care of at this point, I am going to be furious. Just gonna throw that out there. Because I saw the thing. I saw the little notification that said, what's his nuts? Whoever the commander was, is dead. And therefore, It's going to make me do that again. Is this one freaking time sensitive or something? All I can think is that this one is time sensitive. Because I've defeat, I've defeated the the captain. I've I've defeated him. There's no reason for me not to be able to do this, unless this stinking diplomat. I I'm literally trying to. That's literally what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to ignite the dang tower. He saw that. If it's gonna do something stupid where I need to have zero notoriety or something, give me an indication of that at the very least. I can't do that until the tower has been ignited. Literally, all I can think is that I need to get my notoriety down. <laughs> the 
Well, let me go for this Harold. For the love he bears us all. And the There is no reason for you to be suspicious of me. There's literally no reason for you to be suspicious of me right now. Go away. But again, reducing my notoriety makes no sense. As far as something that I would need to do. It's... Uh, I'm starting to wonder if this is a glitch or something that I'm unaware of. That's a faction building. Yes, I know. Which tower I need to ignite. It really wants me to get this official. Jeez. Oh, you're kidding me. I mean, literally, all it's doing is telling me... The only thing that's consistent is that it's telling me that this official is down there. And that it's telling me that I can ignite the tower. So truly, all I can think is that I must need to be at zero notoriety in order to ignite the tower. Even though that literally makes no sense, but I'm also seeing the signs of a poster here somewhere nearby. No, I... You're kidding me. It tricked me. It literally was showing the visual for a poster. Huh. Goodness gracious. This is absurd. So can I just assassinate this guy from above? All right. Well, my notoriety is down to zero. So the re if there's a reason I can't ignite the Borgia Tower, I don't know what it could be. If I still can't ignite it at this point, I am going to look up to see if there's some sort of glitch or something in the Xbox 360 version of the game because this literally makes no sense. Because I've defeated the captain it I, we have seen multiple times that the game is telling me to ignite the tower we see the flame icon on the tower so the only other explanation is that this tower m could be time sensitive if it's not a glitch the the tower must be time sensitive or mission sensitive as it were well I see nothing but at this point I'm gonna do this and make sure that I don't die so that I can be certain to get a save before Excuse me. Um, something happens to prevent me 
from being able to do this mission and get that again. So we are just very quickly going to run back to war, at least toward the, oh, hello. I was not anticipating that. Okay. Where is a spot where I can jump down without risking killing myself? There we go. All right. We're just going to go back to the next memory point to finish off the episode. Truly, all I can hope is that that particular Borgia Tower is memory sensitive. I feel like it might be. That feels familiar to a certain degree. Um, if not... I'll figure out if it is some sort of glitch for the Xbox 360 version of the game. We'll figure out. I just want to be absolutely certain that I don't miss the fact that I have defeated that Borgia Captain already. Because I don't want to have to de uh, go about killing him again. Quite simply. Because he's a coward. And the coward captains are a pain to deal with. Quite simply. Um, ba -doom. We'll do that. Beautiful. We'll, uh... You know what we'll do? We'll go back to our... Pigeon Coop up here. That's what we'll do. We'll finish off the episode doing that and we'll send some more missions on the way. So we got Take a Voyage done. Fidel Fabiani is now level 3. Sabotage Weaponry is good. Deliver Forged Pardons is successful. We have a, a Disappointment. Disapolo, so that would be a disciple. Three, four, four disapolos and a militant. I'm milite. I'm guessing that that would be militant. Ooh, we got contracts now. Okay. Oh, got some new contracts rather. Do I? Um. Let's take care of everybody though. Get some better weapons on you. Same with you. And yeah. We are just in such good shape here. Excellent. All right. Oh. Oh, he has two skull points. There we go. All right. Sweet. Was not anticipating that. So, what do we have in. Florence, level four, 466 experience. Goodness, this episode is going long. I apologize. And then we'll get a low level in there as well. Get a lot of experience on them. What do we have in Vienna? feels oh I didn't lock that one in I just realized let's actually do that so there we go all right so we want you to both of you um yeah we'll just do that that's that's close enough, I'd say. Vienna. I will let him do that on his own. Let's see what we have in Calicut. Defend a merchant. It's 
probably too easy for any of them. What do you have here? I will have Desideria Donati do that one. Because, quite honestly, I want to have my Lady Assassins leveling up more. Because as far as I'm concerned, they should be more widely appreciated, honestly. What do we have in Constantinople? That works for me there. Alright. So, I realize this episode went a little bit long, so I apologize, but we did that just to get that save game locked into place, just to be sure in case that particular Borgia Tower is memory dependent. Generally speaking with this game, if something's memory dependent, it will lock you off from that space. So I'm hoping it's not. Um, but at the same time, if it's not, that means there's some sort of glitch or error occurring within the game. So we'll figure it out. But thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you always know when I have new videos coming out. And follow the links in the description to the Facebook page and Discord server just to join the conversation. Just taking a moment to check my audio level. Um, you'll have already gotten a comment about that in a Stardew Valley episode, so ignore that. But thank you so much for watching, everybody. This is your game professor signing off. I'll see you next time.